Hello guys, Robot1 here coming to you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are going to be doing a box opening of the new Grand Creator set that in all honesty I don't think is the best set in Yu-Gi-Oh! like it's got three archetypes in it a lot of good reprints that I, I can guess but like the set in general isn't that great like value wise when you really think about it it's really collector's rare or go bust because these sets right here Normally, they're not that good for in my opinion just for the fact that you only get three ultra rares a ton of super rares and a bunch of rares But nonetheless, I wanted to open one box of this on the channel regardless one because obviously we want to open at least one booster box of every set that comes out and Two because I only need the brave token stuff and right some of our missions Aquamancers and stuff like that are like 40 50 quid each So if I can like pull one of each that'd be really good So yeah, I am kind of gambling a bit I'm not gonna lie guys Those are the things that I really really want and I just wanted to open one because well We could potentially pull them and there are also good reprints in here as well Don't get me wrong like you can get rare emergency teleports you can get a ton of storm strikes torrential tributes Those are like decent reprints prints but i just don't think like the exorcisters or the punk archetype is that great so that's just my opinions on the set but we're gonna open this booster box right here we're hopefully gonna pull an aquamance or arrive amicia and i'll be happy if we pull a collector's rare one then i will just literally sell the collector's rare so i can buy a play set of ultras because literally the collector's rare is like 150 quid or something which is absolutely insane but we're gonna open this booster box we're gonna see what free ultra rares we can get seeing as you know there's only three ultras in this set one of the reasons why i don't like the set the kind of sets because well only three ultra rares per box like konami could add like maybe one or two more to make it a bit more worth but yeah we're gonna open this up we're gonna see what we can get and let's go ahead and get into this so but Grand Cree is booster box. We have got the Exorcisters, Punk, and the Brave Token archetype. Let's see what we can actually pull. So let's go ahead and open this up and hopefully pull some good stuff. So put that to the side, bit of rubbish there, and open the box. Okay, so 24 packs of Grand Cree is seven cards per pack, and the Grand Creation emerges. Okay, so we'll go with this side first, I think. Uh, actually, I think we've... Yeah, that, like, this, this should be 12 packs. Um, so we're going to open this side first. We're going to see what we can get. Hopefully, we will pull an Aquamancer or a, a Rite of Armisia, and I'll just be very, very happy. So let's go ahead and start off with the first pack. And honestly, I haven't seen everything in this set outside of like the good staples because I haven't really been able to take keep an eye on everything but we'll see what we can get so oh oh yeah the insectors are in here i forgot about those because they got their new spell card so we've got in well insector exostag for the first one castell that's not an amazing reprint but if you ever want your rank 4 toolbox that's really nice there wilder i mean i've got my secrets but if you need them for pk that's a really decent reprint uh the first new arc type card punk uh sharakusa this is like a rescue rabbit for the deck if i remember correctly uh, oh no, no, this isn't the a rescue rabbit for the deck. This is the thing that allows you to fusion summon and then can summon the rescue rabbit from the deck, actually, if I remember correctly. So, Insecta, uh, Scalibur, uh, well, surprise for the punk deck. And our first ultra rare is Insecta, Co uh, uh, Co or the bike, Insectrike, uh, Zectrike. Yeah, like, I'm stuttering, but we, our first ultra is a Zectrike, so I guess that's not a bad card to pull. Um, I don't know how much they're worth. The only cards that I really checked were the Brave Token stuff because they're all I really need from the set. I was debating just buying singles, but I thought, hey, if I can try and pull one like, of what I need for the, the deck, then I'll be very happy. So yeah, our first Ultra Rare is Zector Trike. Not terrible, not the worst, I guess. Oh, Solemn Strike. As I said, this is reprint, so that's really nice. Ties the Brethren. Why didn't this just get reprinted in King's Court? Why are they reprinting it again? Like, yeah, it's even got the same code. Uh, another Punk Crash Beat. Armory Cool. Exorcista Cop Divia. This is like just, like, the Exorcistas make me think of Blue Exorcist, but it's just like, it's pretty much just like bad Zodiac, in my opinion. Goki Pole, if you want a rare. And then Exorcista Ellis. Okay. So you've got her coming in, running in for a hug, Ecclesia clone. <laughs> for those weebs out there who want to have, like, clones of Ecclesia, I guess. Um, so we've got Punk Clash Beat again. Hidden Armory reprint. The name's a little shifted as well on that. Uh, Insecta Beetle. Another Ties the Brethren. Um, Nashiwari Surprise. Wild Pickings. And, oh, okay, I needed one of these at least anyway, so I'm fine with getting a Wandering Griffin because this is the Omni Negate. Pretty much the whole reason why the Brave Token is uh, engine is really good is because it can end on an Omni Negate with just one card and then you can just go through your whole combo. 
pretty much giving every deck like a cookie mirror guardian that like what adamantopia has so that's pretty decent so that's nice. Uh, oh, here we go. This is the Rescue Rabbit. So you contribute this card for some two punk monsters from your deck with different names. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool card. Like, the punk archetype is really good and kind of interesting just because of this. It's not like meta or anything, but if you ever wanted to play it, then you have this. Who knows? Maybe I'll pull a core and I'll try it out. But that's nice. Uh, another Wielder, Hidden Armory, Insect Imitation, and Torrential Tribute. That's our first one, right? And, um, oh, Insect, <laughs> uh, Pico, Falina. That's cool. They, they made this a super rare because this was originally a... A, just a common. So for those bug players out there wanting to play their uh, insect resonate insect turbo deck, then that's kind of nice for you. Uh, Goki Pole, happy on. Uh, that's the new uh, the equip spell. One of the new equip spells for the Brave Token I like. Stag Tracker. I might replace that for my common. Uh, another Rising Carp, Insect Hopper, and oh nice a Dragonfly. That's also kind of nice too because I think didn't it only come in rare back in the day? I think it did. So those people wanting to play like all super insectors can now do that, I think. Uh, why is Nyan Nyan in here? What? Okay, so we got Nyan Nyan. Uh, ri Rideable Dragon. That's like the Compulse Equip spell. Another Star Papillon. Ex Sister Irene. Hidden Armory. Ties the Brethren. And a Breath of Resurrection. This is um, the Brave Token Trap that isn't that good. Yeah, like there's a monster on there that makes me think we're going to get more Brave Token monsters down the line as well. I think we've already got one confirmed. Uh, it's like a level 8 monster that's just not in this set. But we need to get that little girl right. Like, she's got to come with us. Another Castell, Tracker, Torrential Tribute. Uh, the first Xyz monster for the Exorcist Sisters, uh, Caspitel. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, Deep Ladybug, Centipede, and at least we got one. At least we got one. I was like... If we don't pull at least one of these, I am going to be very, very upset. So, yeah, we got one. So now I just need to get two more of these for my actual uh, Brave Token PK deck. That's really, really good. Like, I'm probably going to have to buy it next month because like, there's no way I can afford it this month. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that's actually really good. Nice. We've got one temple. Uh, one, well, uh, Water Enchantress of the Temple. She's, I thought she was Enchantress originally. Uh, you know what, I don't care. But yeah, we've got one. I'm happy. Let's continue on. Exact like Hornet. Another Rider. I only need one, but I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, also, guys, if, if the funny thing with, like, um, Insectors coming back into the game now and getting the that new spell card that we pulled is that you can now just infinitely board wipe your opponent on your turn, which is actually kind of hilarious when you really, really think about it. Uh, the first field spell for the Brave Token Archetype. Uh, Beetle, Dragon Rider, Durandal. This is uh, the um, Noble Arms one, which is kind of cool, and another Picophilia. But, yeah, like, that's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. So, next pack, let's see what we've got. It'd be nice if we could pull a collector's row as well. Like, I don't think we will because it's like one every three boxes. So the chances, well, the chance is there, but I, I, I'm not too, I'm not going to get my hopes up. So uh, this is our first one, Madame Spider. Cool. She looks interesting. But like, just getting the water enchantress makes me happy enough. It means that I only have to pick up two. And that means it's going to save me a lot of money because I can have all the other stuff already, which is nice. But we pulled two other ultras already. Like, uh, that's our first one about two. Dangerous Gabo. Uh, but yeah, so we've already pulled two of our ultra rares. So that's two on one side. Who knows? Maybe this is a misprint box and we'll get four ultra rares. <laughs> like, I would like that. But you know what? I'm not going to jinx it because it's not likely. And another Griffin. Like, Griffin's not really short printed, is it? Um, I also did open some loose packs outside of this as well, and I did actually pull an ultra rare of the Punk Dragon, the Synchro Dragon, so that's also kind of nice how you can just randomly pull an ultra rare sometimes. But let's go, Hopper, said to me, and <laughs> no Punk Ogre. So the other side has nothing then, most likely? We've already pulled all the ultra rares. What? Unless there's, unless this is a misprint box, this side should have zero ultra rares. Let's see. Hey, that's that's weird. One side had all the ultra res. Okay. Um, torrential tribute, Ellis. Like, I'm actually curious to see what what we're gonna see in this side because we're only supposed to get three ultra res per box. So, putting them all on one side is a little unexpected. Um, <laughs> like I'm, uh, you know what, you know why I'm rushing? It's because we pretty much seen every card in this. If I see something new, uh, I'll stop. But, like, we've seen pretty much every flat, flat... Oh, this is new, actually. And so is this. So this is uh, Ornament, and this is Fields? Oh, no, we've, we've already talked about Fields, haven't we? I think we did. I, I can't remember. <laughs> the packs are now falling down. The packs 
But yeah, I don't, actually don't think there should be anything left to hit. Maybe a collector's rare, because sometimes you can get a collector's rare on top of your three ultra rares, but that's not very common. Um, but yeah, like, I honestly don't think there should be an ultra rare left. Like, it's only meant to be three per box. So, yeah, this should, these, these packs should just have nothing in them. Fortress, Exceeds Universe, that's an old one. Didn't expect that to see that again. But I guess it makes sense because obviously the Exorcisters and Exceeds archetype and all of that. But yeah, like, all of, like, are they just, have they lopsided the set? How, so one side has all the Ultra Rares? That would be really bad. Like, that means people could just buy one side of the box and literally just get an entire box of Ultra Rares and then the other side just has nothing. I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping we do see like an ultra rare and this is just like a mistake box or something because like that is a bit worrying for me but so far so good we've got one like honestly this box is happy for me I got the Entrantress so I can't complain but honestly I'm a little worried to see that, that it's just like a lopsided set uh, I missed the super rare all the packs coming down on, the, on my desk right yeah it looks like this is just uh all lopsided Damn, well, that's not good. UK boxes are all lopsided? Hopefully not. Ultra rare? Last pack, so this will either have nothing, an ultra rare, or collector's rare in it. Um, Honestly, I'm a bit worried. Because this if this doesn't have anything in it... Yeah, the, 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 the box is actually lopsided. So, um, we got Gagaguki Punk for the last one, but that's... That's a bit worrying. Um, so don't get me wrong. I'm not upset with this box getting at all. Like this is a pretty decent box. Getting the Enchantress is very, very good pull right there, and I'm very happy to have pulled that. But this is a little worrying. How one side of the box just had all the ultra rares, meaning Konami, uh, like people could actually just go into the locals, um, see a box, and say, "I want everything from the well right side of the box," because we start with the right side, and just get every ultra rare and then the other side of the box is just completely empty so that is a bit worrying i'm hoping that konami hasn't done this for every box but nonetheless though this was a pretty decent box i'm not upset whatsoever like any box that you get like enchantress or right of amicia is going to be a good box and these are just like throw-ins on top to be honest like i don't think these are actually worth much as well i think the ogre dancer is like worth nothing and all the uh uh exec trike is maybe i don't know like, like five maybe yeah. but like all the only price that i've seen outside of like the actual um brave token stuff is the uh synchro dragon which is like a fiver so yeah but guys uh that is my booster box of grand creators i know i rushed a little at the end there but after pulling all three ultra hairs i was just hoping to see that if konami actually just lopsided the box because i have seen misprint boxes already from america but konami europe is very rare to actually see something like this nowadays where they haven't actually properly shuffled the boxes so hopefully they haven't done this with every box and it's just a one-time thing and i just got weird a weird box where they're all on one side but nonetheless guys there's my booster box hopefully we don't have to see any of these other boxes like this and they're not all lopsided and yeah guys that's all i have to say thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one Robot one signing out. Later all. Oh, also, tell me what your thoughts are of this box in the comment section below. Bye.